Okay, God is good. Amen. Isn't the Lord good? The Lord is good and he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. All right. We're going to continue our lesson. On diligence. Diligence slash laziness. Okay, so God is, let's pray. Lord, thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we love you. Open our eyes that we may see our ears to hear and our heart to receive. Let the word that go forth may land on good ground and bring forth fruit to perfection so that we may lack nothing for our destiny. We bind a thief that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so it's important to be diligent. Diligent. When you're diligent, it affects your spirituality. When you're laziness, when you're lazy, rather, it affects also your spiritual wellness. So today, we're going to talk about diligent excellence. Diligent excellence. Hallelujah. What does it mean to be uh, excellent or to do things in excellence someone who is committed to excellence is committed to quality quality doing something wholeheartedly with um, not not half-heartedly you know how someone can do something but they didn't really give it their all so diligence is giving something your all doing something with excellence the bible tells us in mark mark 12 30 jesus said thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart And with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment you know the Lord could have just said thou shalt love the Lord thy God with your heart all right he could have said that love the Lord with your heart love the Lord with your mind love the Lord with your soul but it wasn't written that way he said all your heart what does that mean it means you have to give God a hundred percent give God a hundred percent either all in or all out quality don't you feel good when you get something that's good quality? Well, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I had some experiences when I would shop at the 99 cent store, right? Because we're trying to save money. <laughs> 98 cent store, Dollar Tree. So you buy things, but after a while you notice it'll break easily. It won't last. You get what you paid for. <laughs> So if you want quality, you would have to pay for more, right? Same thing. I, I remember I used to shop at, uh, well, there's nothing, nothing wrong with shopping at those places. I used to shop at Payless. Remember, remember Payless? I don't know if Payless is still uh, still there. But yeah, back in the days, man, Payless was my store. If I wanted shoes, <laughs> I go to Payless. 
That's exactly what I did. I paid less. And as a, as a result, later on, I paid more for paying less. <laughs> because, you know, it, it wouldn't last long. Amen. The quality. So what is diligence? Diligence is quality, excellence, wholehearted. Hallelujah. Colossians 2.23 says, And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. You give it your all. It, it's better to not do something than to do it grudgingly or of a necessity or, uh, you know, you're whining, complaining. You know, that's, that's not pleasing to the Lord. The Lord will rather you say, I don't want to do it. At least he knows where you stand. So we want to give God excellence. If it's praying, pray with all your heart. You know, don't pray and um, you're doing other things. Your, your, your whole being is not in it. We want to give God excellence. Hallelujah. At the workplace, those who get promoted are those who do things in excellence, who do it well. To be to have a spirit of excellence is to do something well. If you have a profession or a skill, if you have the spirit of laziness, you're not going to be the best at that. You're going to be mediocre. Because laziness will say, just do just to get by, just enough, just to get by, just that's all you need to do. But diligence says, no, I don't want to just get by. I don't want to be average. I want to be at the top. I want to be the best in whatever it is that you do, to be the best. When people uh, need you, they, they know where to find you because they know he is the best at this. He's this is the person we need to call. That's what it means to have excellence. To be uh, skillful. Okay, um, let me see, let's read some more passages. Proverbs 18, 9 says, He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. <clears throat> Proverbs 12, 11. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth Vain persons is void of understanding. A vain person. A vain. Vain person is someone who is, there's no worth. You know, their, their time, if you, they, uh, Vain, vain is uh, just empty. You know, there, there's no focus or, or value, if you know what I mean. Hallelujah. 
Proverbs 28, 19. Well, it's similar to uh, 12, 11. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Vain person. No plan. You don't know where you're going. You just, K, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. <laughs> you gotta have purpose. You gotta have purpose. A vain person. A vain person is purposeless. They're just existing. Just existing. Um, but God didn't create any vain persons. He created everyone with a purpose, with a destiny, with an assignment. And it's up to you to find it, discover it, and finish, you want to finish strong. You want to finish. Don't you like it when you go to a restaurant and they're excellent servers? They serve you well. Would you like it if someone uh, was your waiter and uh, you, you gave an order and and they brought you something else. They said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said this. Or you, you give your order and 20 minutes goes by and they, <laughs> they, uh, they finally bring you your food and it's cold. Your food comes and it's cold. Is that, is that excellence? No. Doesn't feel good when someone uh, serves you. It's it's called laziness. That's what it is. So in the same way, we want to be people of excellence. When you do something, you do it well. You do it well. If you're if you're cleaning, you clean well. If you're if you're driving, you're driving well. If you're serving, you serve well. Whatever you do, it you do with excellence. If you're an Uber driver, you want to drive well, otherwise you get a one star. <laughs> uh, amen. Glory to God. So promotion comes to those who do things well. And you know, it takes a lot of uh, focus, attention to do something well. It takes a lot of focus and attention. So what is it that you do? Are you a musician? Are you a doctor? Are you a teacher? Whatever it is that you're doing. You do it with excellence. You do it with your whole heart. You need to have enough information on your field. You know, you gotta stay up to, up to date on what's happening in your field, in your particular field. That's excellence. Hallelujah. And people will come looking for you. People will come looking for you because they know that so-and-so can get it done. She does it well. Or he does it well. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, um, guys, that is our lesson for today. Commitment to quality to excellent, having high standards. Quality matters. More and more, I'm, more and more, I'm realizing quality does matter. Yeah, it's true. It's true you pay a little more, but man, 
it'll last you longer. You know, if you want longevity, you got to have quality. Remember that if you want longevity, you have to have quality. And quality is excellence. That's what it is. Quality is excellence. All right. That's it. That's our lesson for today on diligence. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for those that are watching. If you're watching and you're sick, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want God to heal your body. God is a healer. He's healed me from many things. He's a healer. There are many things that hinder people from receiving answered prayers. One of the major things is unforgiveness. You have unforgiveness in your heart. Read Mark 11, 23. Jesus tells us that we have to move the mountain. When you move the mountain, Mark 11, 24 says, you will have, you will receive your prayers, your desires. You gotta move the mountain. If you keep reading that mountain, no forgiveness, unforgiveness. So God wants to heal you. Take a moment right now and forgive. Someone has wronged you, someone has done you wrong, forgive. Give it to the Lord. You can even pray for them. for them. Then I'm going to come and pray for you. I want to pray for God to hear you. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, on earth, under the earth, and in heaven, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Satan, I bind you, take authority over you now, lose God's people, let them go, I command them to be healed. Every sickness in your body, go ahead and lay your hands now, wherever you feel the pain, Go ahead and agree with me. Agree with me. You can even touch touch the screen. Be in agreement with me. In the name of Jesus. I command that sickness to go. Be healed. Be healed by his stripes you are healed. I remove that sickness. I remove that sickness from your body in Jesus' name. I remove that sickness from your body. Oh yes, Jesus, touch me. Heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. May your kingdom come. Heal your people. Heal your people, Father. Manifest your kingdom. 
Oh, glory to God. The right hand of God is power. The right hand of God is power. Touch him, Lord, touch him. The Lord is healing people now. Thank you, Lord. Breathe upon us, precious Holy Spirit. The wind of God blowing upon us. Breathe upon us, Holy Spirit. need the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I want you to just lift your hands, begin to say the name Jesus, begin to call on Jesus, repeat his name, repeat his name over and over, keep calling his name, Jesus, 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 the Lord's going to fill you right there, keep calling his name, he's going to fill you, you're going to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Some of you need the baptism of joy. Some of you need the baptism of joy. God's going to impart joy. The spirit of laughter is going to come on you. Amen. Okay, give your life to Jesus if you haven't already. All you have to do is say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. He's the one that will save me from my sins. Believe, believe him, receive him into your life, into your heart. And start walking in obedience to his will. Amen. When you do that, you'll be transformed in a church where you'll be baptized in water to be immersed fully dipped your whole body not just a sprinkle your whole body needs to be washed in water amen all right you guys I want you to go get this book face to face appearance from Jesus written by my spiritual father David E. Taylor you guys are going to be blessed you're going to be blessed. If you love Jesus, I'm telling you, you're going to love this book. You're going to draw closer to Jesus. And the best part is that you're going to see Jesus. Jesus will appear to you. You know, there's, there's been all this uh, debate of how Jesus looks like. What you got to do is just see him. See him for yourself. <laughs> See it for yourself so you don't you won't get lost in all this confusion. Everybody wants Jesus to be their uh, their race, right? It doesn't work that way. Get the book. Amen. Uh, uh, go to Joshua Media Ministries dot org and get there. And then also Victory Over Pride, Triumph and Humility. Victory over pride, triumph, and humility. Get this book. You guys, everyone have some type of pride in them. The Lord is still working on me, you know. I, every day, I, not every day, you know, I do my best to study more and more. I can be humble. Well, there's so many different types of pride. Get this book. You get closer to God. The more humble you are, you get closer to God. Joshua Media Ministries. God org. There's another one. The heart. Oh my goodness. You guys, you want to you want to have riches in heaven? You want to have a lot of money in heaven? You gotta learn about the heart. 
And with the heart, you can buy things from God. Your heart is a currency. A heart, the currency of heaven. People don't know this secret. Jesus appeared to David E. Taylor and told him this secret about the heart. There's things that I couldn't buy with fasting. The Lord told me, you could buy with this heart. And that's exactly what I did. Ooh. This, this book get, excites me. <laughs> and of course, face to face, you can get it on Amazon too. It's also available on audio. Ah, God is good. Okay, well, you guys, that's our lesson for today. Excellence, quality, do things excellent. I want to say uh, I love you. I want to invite you to our services on Sunday. How about you, Wanda? Okay. Guys, Sunday. 3.30, Sunday at 3.30, we are at Cal, uh, I'm sorry, we are uh, at 14565 Valley View Avenue, Unit A, the city of Santa Fe Springs. Santa Fe Springs, California, 90670. And then Saturdays, uh, we're gonna be also meeting at the same location on Saturdays. This Saturday, uh, 3 p.m. Saturdays, we're going to have Bible study at 3 p.m. at the same location, 14565 Valley View Avenue, Unit A. City of Santa Fe Springs. You guys, I'm excited, man. God is doing awesome things. Of course, you guys get connected with the face to face movement. Oh my God, I'm so glad to be alive in such a time as this. What God is doing with uh, David E. Taylor and, and the face-to-face -face movement is just amazing. I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Amen. We're going to have an awakening. Awakening. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, saints, the Most High. Have a wonderful day. Remember to love God more today than you did yesterday. And love people. Everything will be alright. Next time, bye. -bye.